Central with BYD Big Yard Dog. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an aerator. Aeration. Very important. Aerate your soil. Poke holes in it. Aerate. Aerate your lawn. This video is going to explain you how to aerate your lawn. Stay tuned. If you don't know what an aerator is, it's basically a machine that poke holes in the ground. It'll pull out little core plugs and that allow air, nutrients, uh, fertilizer, water, all of that stuff to get to the root zone a whole lot faster. So in other words, you get a greener lawn faster. The aerator is the most, well, I'm not going to say the most, but one of the most important tools that you need to get your lawn where you need to be. So let me show you what an aerator looks hey, you are like. Fanatic. Some of you run the Home Depot and you rent this out. I did a video about that a long time ago. You can rent these, you can have someone come and do your yard. But I will advise you, if you rent this, make sure you get the insurance. Do not run an aerator without getting the insurance. Now, if you got somebody that's doing it for you, different story. But this is one of those Clawson's right here. It has four wheels on it. Um, last time I think I used the Ryan that had the one wheel on it. And I'll show you basically in the back. What it does right here, guys, is you see those little, they call them tines right here. These poke holes in the soil and they pull out little plugs like this. Now, best time to aerate would be after you water your lawn or maybe a day after it rained. Like I said, guys, the purpose of the aerator is simply just to put those holes in there. It's going to help get your lawn nice and thicker over time. It's going to relieve compaction. Um, do I think this better than liquid aeration? Yes, because it's true aeration. Putting anything down in your soil that supposedly helps loosen it up, that is true. I've used gypsum in the past, but nothing beats a true aeration from using an aerator to aerate your soil. Before I start, I use it in a couple of spots just to see, let you see. Sometimes you can get one inch plugs, two, three, this depends on the compaction of the soil. Now I have super clay soil, so it's gonna be a little harder for me to go deeper, but we did get some rain um, yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and aerate today. aerated and guys this is an optimal time for you to put down some fertilizer or some liquid fertilizer or some whatever you want to put down and water it in now having said if you have a lawn full of weeds no you should not aerate your lawn skip this process right here go ahead put down some post emergent try to get rid of those weeds but if you have a lawn full of weeds please do not aerate your lawn at this time will this break your pre-emergent barrier Probably a little bit, but if you've been putting pre-emergent down, I wouldn't be too much concerned with it. Because the way pre-emergent works, you suppose to have already put it down in the spring. Actually, around May is when you should be doing something like this, when the months are getting hotter. And by then, you shouldn't have any weeds. So lawn aeration is a, how can I say, it? added bonus if you want a thicker, greener lawn. Does lawn aeration help your yard? get thicker? The answer is yes. Does lawn aeration help your uh, lawn retain water? The answer is yes. Does lawn aeration hard to do? Yes, lawn aeration can be hard to do. I would suggest that if you can, guys, hire somebody. You know, I mean, I spent about 70 bucks. I aerated 17,000 square feet. Took me roughly two and a half, three hours. So 
the price is going to vary depending on who you hire to aerate your lawn um, in the spring. Now, should you aerate a completely dry lawn? The answer is no. Water your lawn 24 to 48 hours before you get out there and aerate your lawn so you can get bigger plugs. Let me show you. All right, and like I said, I, this right here, I pulled, that's roughly one inch. One inch is generally what I get. Some areas I get half an inch, some areas I get a little bit longer than that right there. See that? That's roughly about two inches. So depending on how hard the grass is, depending on how long your plugs are. Yes, guys, when you put down that fertilizer and it's everywhere, you see these holes right here? That fertilizer will go down in a hole. You got roots down in there. It'll get to the roots and it just help everything work together. Now, what's really gonna help with lawn aeration if you cut your yard okay, consistent. Guys, yeah, you have to mow consistent. Mow often. Lawn aeration works better when you mow. What about those small plugs? How do I get them up? Leave them in the yard, keep mowing, and they'll break down naturally. Generally, after maybe about two or three mowings, they'll disappear. Guys, now is the time to go ahead and aerate your lawn. This is one of those secrets that you don't hear about or see, but it's for the average homeowner. If you want this, you want to be that BYD yard, you got to go ahead and aerate your lawn. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know.